G'day, g'day. Welcome to Easy Jeezy Map and Me Breezy. Today's episode, we're going to be making an interpolation map. So we're going to be using inverse distance weighting interpolation technique to create a really fascinating style of map visualization. So let's get straight into this because as you guys know, tonight is tortilla night. So I can't be hanging around for too long. I've got some delicious eggs to, to cook. Um, so let's get straight into it. So I've got here my sample points from uh, the town of Petropolis. Okay, um, as you can see, they're quite spread out, uh, but I want to give an overall sort of visualization of a particular attribute. Okay, something that was measured in this town. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going to open up our toolbox. So let's go to the processing menu and click on toolbox. And over here, if you just type in, if you don't type in anything, it appears like this. And you go in through interpolation, or you can just search for interpolation here. And we're looking for inverse distance weighting, so IDW interpolation. So let's double click on that, and you get the little toolbox window popping up. Okay, so first of all, our vector layer in this case, it is the sample points layer. And our attribute, which we're going to interpolate, let's go for total environmental quality assessment score. Okay, add the little plus to add it. Okay, leave the distance coefficient at P for now. You can research online about where you might need to change that. The extent, so how far our interpolation is going to continue. Let's use that exact layer, so layer extent, and let's choose our sample points. Say okay, so it's going to be, it's going to do it in the, in the area, the same area, the same extent as those sample points are located. Our our size, so basically like how sharp we want it let's put it in as a thousand rows it's going to adjust automatically okay and next we can click run now depending on the size it can take a little bit longer okay depends how sharp you want it and basically what this is going to do and again you can look up uh, online for more details about this but if for example you have a value of say uh, 10 for this point over here and a value for eight over here, maybe in the middle it's going to say nine. Okay, and it's going to sort of guess that value that falls in between those two points. Okay, now obviously it's much more complicated than that, and all the other points around play uh, play a part. Okay, let's just close this window now because it's done. Okay, and there's the default interpolation style there. Now, obviously, that's not necessarily ideal for what you want to do. So, what we can do, we've got our layer over here and let's first of all just rename it so I'll call that eqa interpretation okay and let's go right click and go into properties okay so single band gray nope let's go to single band pseudo color okay, first of all we can click apply there and automatically it starts looking a bit better okay so in this case our higher scores mean a better environmental quality assessment Okay, and the lower scores are a worse one, so red to green makes sense. Okay, um, but obviously there's a few more things we can play around with. First thing is we can change the transparency, so let's go transparency, bump it down to about 70. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so we can see underneath, maybe bump it up a little bit more. Okay, and there we go. So you're getting an idea. Let's actually bump up the CBD, so that appears on top, so you get that idea of where where that is and you can see how it's sort of interpolated values or colors for regions where there was no actual measurement taken. So the measurements obviously only taken at, at these points here and regions where there were no points, it's sort of filled in those values using this calculation, this IDW calculation. I'm gonna turn off those points there. Um, I think we can just make this look a little bit better. Let's go back in, let's right click on the interpretation Let's go back to properties, symbology, what we can do instead of linear, we can make it discrete. Let's see how that looks there. That can be quite useful. Okay. Um, maybe you want to change the color ramp again. You can change something like greens if you want. You can change reds. It's up to you really. Okay. But I quite like this one at the moment. And you can sort of get a pretty good idea of, okay, around this area, there's some pretty poor environmental quality assessments. And around this area over here, it starts getting much better in this little pockets where it's quite high. And obviously you can go into more details in your analysis as to why that might be the case. 
Anyway, I hope this helps and I hope you get a lot out of these interpolation tools. See you next time. Ciao.